Hello everyone, hope you're all doing great. Well, it had been a while that I was away, but I'm here today and as promised, I brought to you the golden tips that had been shared by my supervisor in the first meeting. I have many of them, but I listed them. And in today's video, I'm going to share the three golden tips. Rest of them I'll be sharing in the coming videos. Professor Dr. Sezali Abwahab, a great professor at PBS University Putra Malaya, and believe me or not, words are so less to describe him. But here is my description of him. He is my mentor and I found him a great researcher, thinker, observer, innovative creator of ideas, a great person with whom you can have scientific discussion and he loves honesty and hard work. So his permission was very important to share his ideas with the world. Now, the first advice he said, don't talk to these strangers, better stay away. What did he mean by that? especially the international students, uh, better not to discuss your research ideas with every second person that meets with you. Remember, research is new idea. So better try to save your creativity or ideas. Number two, SLR. What is it? Systematic Literature Review. And systematic literature review is nothing but your organized record of whatever you are reading. For instance, what title are you reading? Uh, who is the writer who wrote it and when it was written? Which journal it is published regarding your variables, your independent variable, dependent, your mediator, the moderator that you are studying. Uh, all that record and the API referencing, which is very much important to keep because you are going to add it in the you know, bibliography in the end. The sampling technique, the theory or the qualitative methods or the quantitative methods used, gaps either identified or addressed, results, yeah, this is too much to consider. But don't worry, in today's video, I'm going to solve this problem. You can make a list, a nice table and with columns, you know, put everything in an organized way. So there are certain examples you can see. Choose which one of them will suit you. But the one I'm going to show you right now, this one is my SLR. And one thing you would be considering that at the end of one uh, research article that I'm reading, I'm mentioning the APA referencing right under it. So that is helpful. And if you have decided to have 250 articles, better start with 50. Rule number three, four R's. Respected, recent, relevant, and related literature. Take from Above Science, Science Direct, Francis and Taylor, Scopus. The point is, it should be high impact journal. The literature that you're reading and literature should be not too old at least 10 years old only one may think that what if the theory is quite old yes it comes under the point of its relevancy right why not in this case you can use a very old theory if it's relevant i hope you have uh, enjoyed the tips let's assemble them and list them again protect your research idea consider systematic literature review and don't forget four r's if you have already liked the video share with your loved ones subscribe to my channel and ding the bell for the upcoming videos take care stay happy stay healthy